Hello everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to the seventh episode my friends of the Terraria Ranger playthrough. Now today, we are starting off with this bad boy down here, the ice machine, which of course we obtained in the last episode. Now as a result of us obtaining that, we now have ourselves a bunch of ice related furniture. And one of the things I came to realize is the fact that there's no kind of like frost chest that you can actually go and craft. Now, as you can see here, there's just no chest, which kind of sucks. It would be awesome if we logic added some way to craft in Frost chests or ice chests, whatever it may be. But I guess in the meantime, what I could simply go and do is get some like really light blue paint from the painter and then just paint these chests to sort of match. Yeah. I don't, I don't see a reason why that shouldn't be a thing we can do. But anyways, guys, what we're going to do to start off is we are going to go ahead and replace all of the wooden furniture with ice furniture and indeed ice doors as well. And yeah, this should give this thing a little bit more of an icy theme, right? I mean, it was only loosely based on ice before, but now it's going to be fully based on ice. Look at that. We've got these little ice lanterns going now, which is freaking sweet. Okay, and then we'll do a couple in here. Uh, and then one up here. There we go. We have ourselves some candles as well So we could put one like there and then maybe we'll give one to the nurse over here We've got ourselves a frozen lamp as well so we can get rid of this We can also go ahead and replace the chairs with the frozen chairs that we've got here So yeah, there will be no more wood in this place after we're finished it. So let's get this table out real quick. Uh, oh, I should have done the table before the thing, huh? <laughs> All right, so let's get you placed down there. We need to get ourselves an ice workbench as well. In fact, we need to get two out. Oh, okay, right, uh, two frozen workbenches. Let's go ahead and put one right here for the guide uh, with a piggy bank on top. And we'll put the other one just down here with the merchant. Uh, there you go, buddy. You got yourself some more icy related stuffs. Awesome. Right, can you make ice platforms? Is that something you can do? I don't believe so. Although I could be wrong. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything there which resembles like icy stuffs. Uh, ice bed. Is that something we could do? I have a feeling we can make an ice bed somehow. Let me just go ahead and chuck this down real quick. Let's just quickly experiment. So, one, two, three, four, five. Can you make an ice bed? I'm pretty convinced there's an ice bed that exists, right? Yeah, there is. Look at that. There's a frozen bed. <laughs> Why the heck you would want to sleep on a frozen bed? I have no idea, but uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's awesome, dudes. Oh, mate. Now, if only we had ourselves some uh, icy platforms that exist, that would be freaking sweet. But look at that, my friends. All we've done is replaced all of the wooden furniture with ice furniture, and it's given this place a little bit more character, hasn't it? It's really, really cool. So, uh, can we, like, just go ahead and sell this old stuff? I mean, I don't really need it all, do I? Don't need the doors, don't need the chairs, don't need the tiki torch, uh, the loom. Obviously, we'll go back in this chest over here. We'll keep the bed simply because it's going to be pretty useful, perhaps, later down the line if we want a temporary base. So, yeah. Everything is looking good, but thank you very much, my friends, for the support you have been showing with the series, of course. Very, very much appreciated. And, of course, if you are excited for more episodes to come and you want to continue showing your love for the series, do be sure to drop those like buttons. It'd be super appreciated. So... Aside from going ahead and replacing furniture, what we are also going to be doing is adding a little bit more to this here base. Let's grab out these things, and what we're going to do is we're going to start making some new rooms. Because I had a look at the Terraria wiki, and it turns out in order to get the painter NPC to spawn in, you need to have, get this, seven other NPCs already in the world. And it turns out that you can indeed have the traveling merchant as one of said NPCs, which is pretty interesting to say the very least. I wouldn't have ever thought that that would be a thing, but apparently it is. So, you know, it's kind of cool, isn't it? Right, now then, let's get ourselves a couple frozen doors. Because what we're going to do is place them in right away. So one there. And then obviously to make it symmetrical, there's going to be one over this side as well. And all we need to do is come up with a bit of a shapey doodly do for this thing. Uh, so maybe what we do real quick, if we just start getting rid of all of this. Okay. And then if we just dig this out, we can get that going. And then the room can span to like over here or something. Yeah, okay. I'm liking the sound of that. So... Yeah, we've got three NPCs so far, so four more houses would mean that we have seven NPCs, but then we're going to need one more after that even still to get ourselves the eighth NPC, which of course will be the traveling, not the traveling merchant, the, the other dude, the, the dude, the painted dude that is. So yeah, 
This might be a bit of a long one, but uh, this is going to be a building episode. So for those of you guys who like building episodes, there you go, buddies. I'm trying to satisfy as many people as possible. If you don't like building episodes, if you like more actiony episodes, then I apologise. But like I said, I try to, I try to, I try to satisfy as many people as I can. And some people like building episodes. Some people like the more action-packed episodes. So you know, you know, if you like it, cool. If not, then I don't really know what to say. <laughs> All right. But uh, anyways. There we go, so we can get this planted in. Uh, it looks a bit square, this room, doesn't it? It looks very, very square, and I kind of want it to be something else. We can make that into what into an octagonal-shaped room, which is kind of nice. Uh, hmm. I'm trying to think of a way to do this. We can get some platforms in here. Okay, so let's just grab out some... Wait, where's that Boreal one gone? Is it in here? Oh, we've only got two bits. Well then, that's not a lot, is it? Oh, we've got some in here as well. Okay, sweet. So, let's get ourselves a little bit more. Let's continue our building real quick. So, let's get that going. Hmm. Okay. And then we are also going to go over here and do the, well, broadly the same thing. So, here we go. I should do the job. Platform, platform. And then, obviously, we need to, you know, actually dig out and do the rest of that room. But we're focusing on this room for now. Is uh... I want to, I want to make it look awesome. I want to make it look cool. Get it cool? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really not. I'm really not. Funny. Jesus. All right, cool. So we got that. We got that. We got that. And then what we could do with them is we could simply go ahead and uh, get the hammer on that, and then all will be good. Okay, so now what we can do is try to make this into an octagonal shaped thing. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and then this will be where it starts going up, I guess. So what we need to do now is make ourselves a whole bunch more bricks. So there we go. How many are we going to make? I have no idea. Okay, we've left 50 snow blocks behind. I feel like that's a good amount, right? So let's just get over here real quick. Let's do this and this, and then we'll continue on. So, it'll go up to there, and then it'll go up, right, I think. Hmm. Okay, so, we're trying to get as many NPC houses done in this episode as I can. Obviously, the more we do, the better things are going to be. So, let's just go ahead and uh, do this. So, there we go. That's now perfectly, yeah, that's now perfectly done. So, what we need to do now is do the side walls. And then uh, get the top going as well, of course. And then we'll pretty much be good to go, folks. So, yeah. I think what I'm going to go and do... You get the general gist of what I'm doing, hopefully. What I'm going to go and do is I'm going to make a little bit of a jump cut. I'm going to try and get this replicated on the left-hand side as well. And then, obviously, we can get the walls done. We can get the furniture placed in. And then, as a result of all of that, we should be able to get ourselves a heck ton more NPCs to spawn in. And, uh, you know, thus we can start beginning... Uh, you know, get to the point where we can get ourselves the painter, right? So, yeah. Okay, so, uh, boom, boom, boom. Okay, and then all we need to do is smooth that out. Uh, wait, this is three blocks, so actually this needs to go a tiny bit taller. So, let me just go and place these in temporarily. Uh, we're going to need to dig these out. There we go. And then this needs to actually go up another block. There we go. And then, yeah, we've got a perfect octagon type thing. Sweet! Okay, so that'll just about do that, right? Yeah? Yeah! I think we got it in one there, folks. Sweet! Alright, so, like I said, we're going to try and replicate this shape on the left-hand side. And then, uh, yeah, I'll bring you guys back. We can fill in the walls and then get the furniture done. Alright, guys, so check it out. I'm just in the process of adding in the background walls. And that will mark... The completion of the structure of these new places. I'm really hoping that this little place in the center here will still count as an NPC house. It is a little bit on the small side, admittedly, but uh, obviously we'll see how it goes. Oh, I want to do something here because I've, I've got a limited amount of glass walls, unfortunately. I may have to go and get myself some more, but uh, obviously we'll find that out in just a mo. Let's just see what we can do here. I'm just in the process of adding in some windows. There we go. Oh, that, that fits in quite nicely, doesn't it, actually? <laughs> Two little mini windows. <laughs> that actually fits in real nicely. All right, so let's go do the same down here. So we've got the ice brick walls. We've got some windows. Okay, and then some more windows. And then fill the rest in with the ice brick walls. 
There we go. And then, of course, we have this little area down here. Or up here, should I say. So, let's just go ahead and get this corner done. And then, uh, after that... Oh, dang it. After that, we'll be just about ready to, uh, to get some furniture in. And then, yeah, this place will officially... God dang it. This place, officially speaking, will be done. Right, can I, like... That's what I wanted to do. Oh my god, placing blocks is so hard sometimes. Right, boom, boom. And then there's that one that was replaced up there. Okay, cool. And then the rest of this is all going to be windows. Yeah, that's unfortunate. We only have a... We, we've got a limited amount. We need to go to a desert somewhere. Uh, okay, well, we can go to our left-hand side, get some more glass. And then, uh, yeah, after that, it will be just about that time. So, uh, yeah, get some furniture in and call those places finished. Get some more NPCs to move in and then get the painter to move in. And then we can start painting our stuffs. Yeah, buddy. All right, so let's get some glass going, huh? Here we go, folks. Just in the process of adding in the finishing touches here in the form of these here lanterns. Ah, okay. And then maybe just a couple over here. There we go, and then over here, and that will just about mark the completion of these places. Maybe we can add a little bit more here and there. Let's get ourselves some candles on here, perhaps. Maybe on some of them we can have like a candelabra. I think that'd be a cool idea. So let's go and place you down there. We do have some more glass at the very least. So actually, if I go and uh, reconvert this into glass, I should be able to get some glass bottles out of it, right? So uh, glass bottles. Are they made of the furnace? Yep, they do appear to be. Okay, cool. So let's have one over there. We'll have one here, one over here, and then we'll put one in the center room right here. Okay, cool. And then just to finish it off, I think what I'll do is I'm going to place... Ooh, what should we do? What should we do? We'll place this there for no apparent re reason whatsoever. We'll get ourselves a couple candelabras. Uh, well, just one, actually. That's all I can really do. <laughs> all right, and then we'll place you on there. All righty, so here we go, my friends. This is the moment of truth. One house. Wait, really? Why is that not valid? Is there a wall missing? Uh, I, 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 not valid. Why is it not valid? What about this one? Okay. Right, that's really, really strange. Why are these not valid? I've got the table, I've got the chair, I've got the lighting source. That's really confusing. I don't know why that is. What happens? Okay. Hmm. Okay, a little bit of experimentation while we are trying to figure this out. Hold on a minute. Let's just try and do a thing real quick. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. I wonder if the platforms are the thing that are meddling with it. Let me just give that a go. Giving that theory a go. Let's get you broken up. Let's get you placed down there. Let's get you placed back in. Uh, you placed in there. And then you placed in there. Is this now going to be valid? Oh, now it's valid. Okay, that's really strange. So that means the platforms are interfering with the housing system. Gosh darn it. Which means I need to come up with a different kind of solution in terms of, uh, in terms of you know, uh, actually being able to get up here. Because as you can see, I'm actually trapped in here now. Which is great. But the good news is, on the flip side, we do have ourselves five new NPC houses. Okay, so what about if I put them here? And then I place down the table again. You place down there. Get the chair. Get that placed in. Where's that candle gone? There it is. Okay, right. Is this still a house? Okay, so that is still a house. Okay, so all we got to do now then is just place that in there. And then we'll be good to go, right? Yeah? Yeah? That seems legit. Okay, so we can have ourselves five new NPCs move in. So one, two, three, four, five. Sweet! Dudes, I am super happy about that. Yay! More houses for the M- Oh! Did you hear that? It's the human quack sound. <laughs> that is awesome, folks. Alrighty, so I think we've got time to do one more thing in this episode. So let's go ahead and figure out what to do real quick. Hey, check it out, guys. The NPCs are starting to move in, which is awesome. And as you can see, I am down here underground. And we are attempting to try and find ourselves some epic stuffs, really. That's, uh, that's really the fact of the matter. We need to try and get ourselves some more epic stuffs. Some more heart crystals. Maybe some more accessories, all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll be pretty much good to go as a result of getting a bunch of stuff. Yes. <laughs> and, oh! Oh! Guys! We may have to scrap this immediately. Dude, we got a slime rain event, boys. Let's go. 
me. This is awesome. Oh, me. Okay, cool. Ha. Yeah. All right. So now that we've got a Slime Rain event, we might be able to take down our very first boss in the series, my friends. King Slime. Oh, well, mate, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. Do we have any snow? I would like to get myself some more ammo. Let's grab ourselves some of that out. And let's grab ourselves a, a, a bunch of ammo, basically. Boom. Cool. Loads and loads of snowballs. Sweet! Oh, mate, I'm so happy about this. <laughs> I really am, actually. All right, boom. Get off me. Uh, what are the chances we're going to get a slime staff from this? Uh, if we do, I'm going to be a little bit mad. All right, come on. Because obviously we're not allowed to use it because it's not ranger related stuffs. Uh, Alright, come on. Come on, or you can come along. Wait, do these guys go? Oh, Pinky! Pinky's among us! Hey, buddy! Hi! I'm going to kill you. I'm so. Whoa! Yeah, damn, son! Calm down! Calm down there, buddy. Calm down. There you go. 300 health. Jeez, man. And. Dead. Uh, pink gel, 2 gold. Eh, no slime stuff, unfortunately. Eh, doesn't matter too much. I wasn't really expected to get it, so, you know, that's why I'm not too fussed about that. Oh, these shurikens are just kicking their butts. Awesome. Hello. How you doing there, buddy? <laughs> uh, you feel... Wait, what? You are kidding me, right? You're literally actually kidding me, right? So, wait, are we about to have King Slime and the Eye of Cthulhu both naturally spawn on me at the same time? Is that actually going to be a thing that happens? I, I think I'm going to have to light this thing up so, you know, you guys can actually see what's going on in both battles. I was not expecting to have both bosses, dude. Jesus, man. Oh, man, I'll tell you something. These slimes... Oh, the other Cthulhu is among us now. Oh, jeez, man. All right, let's buff up. We've got to try this thing out, folks. If we manage to do this, I'm going to be amazed. Because bear in mind, this is expert mode. Things can go very south very quick. Okay, let's take out all the servants. Ah! Okay, the slimes are really not helping the situation. Come on, boy. Come on, come on. Okay, okay. Loads of no uh -huh. Okay, we're not looking so good right now, folks. In all honesty, we're not looking so good. Okay, come on. I mean, we're not taking that much damage, honestly. We're getting some hearts back, which is really, really nice. The, uh, the This thing here, the, the snowball cannon, is definitely doing a decent job in terms of taking some dudes down. Okay. And... Oh, it is already in second form, folks. Alrighty. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. What the... God! There's no way in hell, dude! I haven't got the... I haven't got the defense or anything, bro. What is this? I'm not taking these guys. That there's no way. There's no way in hell. There's no way in the literal hell. There's no way. There's no way. The slimes. They've overrun me. They've overrun me. Ah! Ah! No. There was no way. I'm sorry. There was just no way. There was no way. Right. Now that the Eye of Cthulhu is buggered off, maybe we can get King Slime to spawn it instead. That would be awesome. Oh boy! He's come among us, folks! Okay, right. We've got 785 ammo plus a whole bunch of bow ammo. Wait, where is he? What the heck? Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Ooh, you little scumbag. Right, now then. What is going to be the easiest way to do this? I don't know. Maybe you're staying on top of here? To do the job? Uh, hmm. Right. Ah! This probably wasn't the best idea, admittedly. Maybe I should have stayed up there. Alright, come on. 2,800 health is the amount we need to take down. It shouldn't be that difficult, right? Maybe I could utilize my magic mirror. What do you guys think? Ha! Okay. And now he's gonna come over here, right? Yeah, there he is. Ha! No! No, 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 no! Let me get up here! Let me get up here. All right, cool, 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 cool. Oh, mate, we're done for. There's no way. Whoa! You scumbag. No, 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 no. Okay, um, buff up. Uh, oh, we've got an iron skin potion. No! That was a face palm. There's no way I could have done anything about any of those fights, man. 
Maybe, just maybe, I could have gone ahead and set up a mini micro arena for King Slime, but especially in the terms of the Eye of Cthulhu, that it was impossible for me to do anything because I just had no time. So, yeah, that's that's the, that's a little bit annoying. But oh well, I'm not too fussed about it. Ah, oh, alrighty. Well, anyways, guys, on that unfortunate failure note, it is going to be time to end this particular episode here. I do hope you guys have enjoyed it. Do, of course, be sure to drop a like rating if you did, and hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future content. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Your support, as always, has been super, super appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.